Alright, peace and greetings YouTubers. Let's have some fun, shall we? So, basically there is a story that's circulating around the news talking about a white student union over at Townsend University that has decided to go and patrol their campus and make sure that their students are safe because there's been an influx of black on white crime at that university. I was about to say campus. I guess campus, university, same thing. So, basically, that inspired me to make another video. And I'm just going to go ahead and say... There may be some things in here that may make you uncomfortable, so if you're one of the type that are extremely sensitive and uncomfortable when we talk about race relations in America, you might just want to turn this video off. That way, you don't have to get your feelings hurt and be pissed off and flood my inbox with your 342-page dissertation that couldn't fit in the comment section. You know, just go ahead and turn the video off. No, no, actually, stay. You need to hear this, because that's the problem. A lot of times, people don't get to hear reality sometimes. So, let's just go ahead and get into the story, shall we? So... Basically, and let me be honest, I'm, I'm going to go there in a little bit of this video. I'm, I might break dance and spin on my head a little bit at my little video party I'm having here. I don't need you to break dance and spin on your head and go to the picket lines with me, but you got to at least be able to two-step and understand where I'm coming from. So, at my little YouTube party that we're about to have, hey, I'm just going to break it down a little bit, and all you got to do is just two-step with me, okay? Anyway, so... Let's go to the background of the story. So there's a guy named Matthew Heimbach, and he is like a senior history major at the school, and he's decided that, you know, he wanted to start a white student union. Now, the white student union at the school isn't an official organization of the university, but it's still, you know, a club of university students that gather for, you know, their common purposes. Now, he felt that it was important to have a white student union at the school because, you know, he was saying there was an Asian student union, there was a Latino student union, there was a black student union. Why can't there be a white one? And, you know, it got me to thinking. So, in my head, I was under the impression that, you know, Townsend University was this school. Since it was in Baltimore County, Maryland, I was under the impression that, you know, this school's like 85% African American and then maybe 6% white and everybody else that falls into the, you know, um, ethnicity brackets. So, I'm like, okay, you know, maybe I could see why they would want to have a white student union because, you know, they're underrepresented and blah, 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 and all that great stuff. But then I went and I looked up the ethnicity rates of the university. Now, Townsend University is 70% white, 11% African American, and then everybody else that falls in the ethnicity brackets. So I was like, it doesn't really add up. And this is why, because when you look at unions, usually the purpose of a union is to represent a small group of people and make their small issues that may be small to somebody from a higher position of authority get a wake-up call about what's important to them. You know, unions are usually, it's smaller pe smaller groups of people that represents those that are underrepresented, those that aren't treated fairly disenfranchised. It helps to promote, you know, fairness and equality and that people get treated right. That's why you have the workers' unions and all these corporations and everything and a bunch of unions and a bunch of giant organizations and it protects the people with the small voice but gives them a bigger voice by giving them more backup. And it's, you know, when people come, when common people come and gather, it just, like, you know, in the Bible, when two or three touch and agree, it shall be done. Amen. But no, like, it's kind of like, you know, that's my impression of what I think a union is. So when I found out that there was the white student union at a majority white university, it just was backwards. This, like, honestly, having a white student union at a university that is majority white, this is what it sounds like. It's like having a right-handed union, okay? Because... The nine-tenths of Americans who are right-handed feel that they need to make a union to, you know, embrace and protect and promote their characteristics and traits against that other 10% of left-handed people like me and Barack Obama in the country who are left-handed, okay? So, yes, we are the 90th, you know, the 90% of Americans who are right-handed, but we have to make a union because we have to protect and make sure that we are treated fairly as the majority in this country because there's a strong chance that that tiny 10% may somehow take over everything and run the whole show and we'll all be treated unfairly and we'll have to use left-handed notebooks. All right? So it's our job to kind of go and bring down those damn left-handed because those that are left-handed, you know, they just... Even though they have to go out of their way to adjust to life being left-handed, and it's really hard for them to write because when they write, their hand smears everything, and when they're finished writing, this whole section of their hand has a bunch of ink on it, and if they're writing in a notebook, it's hard to write on that side, and it's hard to use the right-handed scissors and right-handed everything and the right-handed can opener, and it just sucks to be right-handed. As a matter of fact, you even have to, like, even when you're driving, everything is backwards. But you people that are left-handed, you know, us right-handed people, we just have to make sure you all stay in your place. 
right power. <laughs> okay, so um, that, that's kind of what it looks like to me. So then I'm sitting here thinking about the university, and I'm like, well, they were saying, you know, that this whole, the whole patrolling thing, and you know, they're patrolling with flashlights and pepper spray too, because they got to really make sure, you know, they do the whole American citizens arrest, protect and serve our own community if the government and police won't do it. So, I'm under the impression that this school is just out of control, it's black people over there just tearing up everything and burning down stuff and terrorizing the white people. That, that's the impression that I was getting, according to the little letter and everything that Matthew Heinbeck had put out. Because he, you know, there was the increase of black on white crime and the, the black, you know, people going and victimizing the white. So I'm like, dang, it must be crazy. So I'm like, well, let me go dig up the statistics at this school. So it turns out, at that school... For every thousand students, there is 6.01 students who are victims of crime. I don't know how they got a .01. I don't know if that's somebody that, that, that came for one day and dropped out and changed their mind. But, you know, for every thousand students, there's 6.01 students that are the victim of some type of crime. And this isn't just black and white crime. This is any crime period. This is somebody stole my iPod, somebody stole my book, somebody pushed me down the stairs, somebody tried to drug me at some part. It's all of that together. Okay? So then I'm like, well, okay, well, what's the ratio at the school, or the percentage at the school, population? There's 28,000 people at this university. So you multiply the 28 by the 6, you get about 168. So out of 28,000 students at this school, 168 of these students have been victims of some sort of crime. Now, not to go there, that's not really a high ratio. As a matter of fact, Townsend University, for the last, for seven out of the last 10 years, has been the safest university in all of Maryland. All right? As a matter of fact, when they started talking about how violent crime has increased, especially with towards white people, it didn't add up because actually crime at that university has been dropping since 1995. So I was kind of like, I don't understand, Matthew Heinbeck, where you're coming from with this because it's starting to seem kind of racist. And you know, when black people talk about race and racism, white people don't get comfortable. They don't like hearing that. That makes them uncomfortable and they get pissed off. So I wasn't trying to turn this into a race video, so I was going to try it. And I was like, you know, Matthew... Since you're a history major, you know, if you're, if you're a history major who's truly researched the history of the world in America from an unbiased standpoint and from a logical, realistic standpoint, you as a person should have probably had a more tolerant attitude and approach towards people who were different. But, I don't know what type of history they're teaching over there, and I don't know what type of courses you took, but, uh, you know, it was just interesting because he was saying, you know, going back to the white student union thing, you know, it's not a racist thing, it's, it's them wanting to have a group of people that can get together and promote and embrace the European culture and American culture and what it's like to be white and be prideful of whites and all that other stuff. And I was like, that's interesting, but you know, that goes on at every university that's a majority institution in this country. When you go into your history books and turn the page, every single page, most likely you're going to see somebody that looks like you on it. Until you get to maybe way deep into that page and there's that like six page section about blacks that you know they go from slavery to Oprah in like six or seven pages so I, I found that interesting so then I was like let me dig up a little bit more and I found this article when I was reading during my little off time that you know whites actually feel that they're the victims of racism more than blacks and I said what okay all right let, 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 let's dig into that so I went ahead and I dug into the FBI uniform crime report database just to see if maybe they're telling the truth on this because man, maybe things have changed around here maybe us black people are just out of control and slapping right people around all over town which I, I, I'm sure isn't happening but so of all hate crimes in America 70 percent of the hate crimes in America are geared towards blacks 17 percent of the hate crimes in America are geared towards white so I'm not exactly sure you know where the urge for concern is as far as whites being victims of racism by blacks, you know, I guess there's different interpreta interpretations and definitions, but when you talk about hate crimes in America, you know, only 17% of those crimes are geared towards whites as opposed to the 70% that are geared towards blacks. And then I was like, well, let me dig a little bit deeper. So, out of all people that commit hate crimes in America, 58% of those that commit hate crimes towards other groups of people are white. All right, as opposed to the 18% that are black. So even then, the numbers still don't add up. So when white people are saying they're the victims of racism more, I was like, well, what exactly are you a victim of? Yes, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens, but things still aren't adding up. So what I've decided I'm going to do, because I'm not about to sit here and talk to y'all for nine hours about everything I could really say, because it would be really ugly, I'm just going to make an extension of this video later on, and we're just going to have a conversation about privilege in America. That would be a fun video, but not on this one, because I wanted this one not to be too long. So basically, what I want you all to do is just give me your opinions about this story. Do you feel that 
you know, them going and patrolling their campus. To, and on top of that, dealing with the campus, they were saying, you know, their issue was to go and patrol and make sure that white students are safe. Not even everybody, just the white students. I said, well, dang, I can't be protected. You know, I might be sitting out there at 2 in the morning on the park bench reading my book. And I want to make sure I'm safe. I want to know, if, make sure you're going to pepper spray somebody if they try to rob me. But, hey, so I, I, I would like to know your opinions. Do you think it's racism or do you honestly feel that it's just somebody truly, genuinely concerned about the well-being of their campus? Or, do you, or you know, I want to know your opinions about a white student union. Is it fair to have one? Is it silly to have one? Or should they have one just like everybody else? Should black people just shut the hell up and stop complaining all the damn time? You know, I want to hear all that. Anyway, subscribe. Check for my video about privilege in America. It probably will be uploaded this week. And I'm out. Deuces.